Welcome back, guys, to another installment of Spin Tires Modded Adventures. Uh, it's going to be another uh, modding tutorial. Real quick, uh, I'm going to show you how to add some lights to your vehicles, which I think is uh, pretty cool. There's a lot of spots on the, the stock vehicles that don't have lights that should have lights. Uh, so I'm going to kind of just give you a brief idea on how you can go about doing that. Um, I'm not going to tackle any of these orange markers. Uh, I did see a mod out there where somebody actually took the time to go over all the add-ons and trucks for the stock vehicles and added the uh, <clears throat> the orange marker lights to all the appropriate places, which kudos to you because I do not have the patience for that. Um, it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy to get a light to sit where you want it to and to look like it's supposed to be there. But uh, what I did want to show you guys is on the stock Ural here, you'll see right here, there's a little spotlight. Now it doesn't work in the stock game, and I'm like, okay, why? This makes no sense. It's a spotlight, that would be very useful, you know what I mean? So, what I did is I went ahead... made it a light. Now you can't really see it because it's light but in the dark it does actually show light on the ground as well and I actually have it angled the way it's supposed to so it's kind of off to the left a little bit doesn't light up the right side of the truck so much. Uh, looks really really good um, but uh, needless to say it did take a little bit of time and a little bit of energy. Well, not so much energy. I'm sitting in a computer. Uh, mental energy. Lots of mental energy. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to show you briefly how to do this, if, if you would like. Um, now, I'm going on the fact that you've watched my previous modding tutorial videos to show you how to set up your spin tires to mod. Um, I'm not going to go through doing all that again, I'm just going to jump right in and show you what to do to the script files to actually uh, get the light into the game onto the vehicle. So, what you're going to do, go ahead and just open up the base install for your spin tires, media, go into your classes. And go ahead and go into trucks. Golly, look at all of these mod files. Lots of content in mine. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to open up URL XML for all intents and purposes for this tutorial. Alright, now, I know you guys can't really see that. Watch. Oh man, how cool is that? Alright, so at the front, right at the front end of the, uh, of the file, right at the top, you're going to see, you know, the. Uh, the templates uh, for the wheels. Uh, now, right at the very top, this is the template section. Um, zoom out a little bit. Uh, that includes this down here. The template goes from here to here. And if I could just yeah, show you right here. So that goes all the way down to the game data down here. So this is all templates. This is the initial, like the initialization of the file all the information the file needs to initialize different different things so the wheels are part of the initialization of the the file I guess uh, so anyway what you're going to do is you're going to place down here a template for a flare you can call it trunk light because that's actually a template already and it's for the UAZ the, the trunk that goes on the UAZ it's the trunk light so uh, you can you can mess with the values of, of this here, um, but basically what the flare is going to include is you're going to need a color, right? Zoom in here so you can actually see what I have set for this little spotlight. So I've got trunk light, color, this is the intensity, so you could, this, I, I don't really know that it has a cap. The biggest I've gone is uh, times 16 and it makes it very very bright. 
but it does actually make the size uh, seem larger when you increase the intensity because of the corona and the glare. Um, so you have the basic size, so if you have this all the way down, it'll only show where the light is. Uh, and then, uh, got your direction. This is, um, the direction, think of this front to rear. Positive being towards the front, negative one would be pointing towards the rear. This is up and down, looking at the side of the vehicle, right? Negative two would be looking down. Negative 0 0.2, I apologize and this would be left to right so positive would be moving the light to the left if you're looking towards the front of the vehicle like you're driving the vehicle positive numbers from zero would make the light move left negative numbers make it move right okay and the direction angle is the total direction that the light goes so if i had this set to 360 no matter where you were you could see the glare from the light Direction angle set at 100 makes it so that it appears as though it's behind the uh, steel housing of the light. So you can only see it from the front half, and that direction is given based on the direction value right here. Now if I had this set to negative, it would be all bass backwards, and I'd be able to see the light through the back end and not the front half. So that's how that works. All right, now that is just the template, all right? Now, what you need to do, then, whoa, really tiny, all right, do one more, okay, you're going to go ahead and scroll down to where the lights are in the file, which is the model attachments, as you see here, model attachments, Ooh, model attachments, okay, and generally, for the Ural, there is an ignition uh, an ignition area for the lights. Some some vehicles do not have ignition based lights. Basically what that means is that when the ignition of the vehicle is turned on these lights come on. So the only three that are on the Ural to start are the three on the top of the truck. Just just on the cab, those three yellow lights. And you can see they have the, the colors set. No intensity because they just want them to just glow. Um, Generally, you, you would put an intensity if you're, if you're trying to make like an actual light, because if you don't have it, it's just, just a very faint little glow, and, uh, you know, it works for what it is. Um, the offset, um, and they don't have any uh, direction or anything set to this, because it's not a light, it's just glowing. Um, the model itself occludes the part of the light that you don't want to see. So, they, it's just unnecessary for them to have a direction. It's just extra coding and extra memory that doesn't need to be used. So, this here is how I have this set up. Now, this is not how it has to be. You can set this up different as long as you have it in the right syntax and the right, you know, order. Um, as far as, you know, the information. So, this first part here, this light... This light is actually the light that casts on the ground. So, we set this up the same way. This actually, you need to have these set to a parent frame so they know what they're attached to. If you don't have them set to anything, they'll just they'll go to the default. And I'm not sure, on the Ural, the default is actually the chassis, not the cabin. So, the light was following the back end of the vehicle, not the front. And it just looked weird because it wasn't staying inside the, the spotlight. So went ahead and added the parent frame to the cabin bone, so now I'll fix that. Um, so this this light, I, I made it very bright, as you can see, and that's just so it's very visible on the ground. Um, you don't need to do that with the flare. Now you see on this, down here, because I've set the template up top, up the top of the, the file, I don't need to give all that information. All I have to place is the parent frame, template name, trunk light, which I've created up top, and really this trunk light could probably be named anything. I just copy and pasted it out of the UAZ, uh, the, the trunk add-on file. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you could probably rename that to whatever you wanted, and you just have to, uh, you know, 
<laughs> rename it at the top of the file and it would work here. Uh, and then you just set the offset, and the offset is where the actual light sits. So the direction and everything is set through the template at the top, and you just tell it where you want it on the vehicle from here. Um, and then the light works the same way. Um, you know, as far as the offset direction, things like that, the direction is the exact same as I mentioned in the in the above. Um, now, the light does have extra files here, or extra, I keep wanting to call them files. They're not files, they're, va they're values. Um, values, variables, whatever. Uh, the inner cone and the outer cone is kind of self-explanatory. The inner cone is like, would be the smaller part of the cone, the, the part that's towards you. So I have this set 4590 so that it's it kind of simulates a smaller light. It's off to the side and it's rotated so it doesn't light up as much. So the outer cone would be the very outer the very outermost where you can see the light where how how wide is that? And then the inner cone would be the the cone that is closest to you which is the end of the cone towards the uh the beginning of where the light is reflecting off the ground. Um or the trees or the sky whatever. Um, again, offset. Uh, this is just... A, now, I could probably, likewise, set a template up at the top, do the exact same thing as I did for the flare, which would just clean it up a little bit. Um, but I, I just did it this way because this was kind of an addendum. Um, so I just kind of threw it in here. Um, but it basically works the same way. And then the, uh, the at end is the actual end, like how far you can see the light. And I, I messed around with this a little bit. I didn't see a big change, but I did notice that, that it's 16 or 32 even. I, I, I did seem to notice that it got further away. You could see more light, and it was it, it kind of flooded the area a little bit more. Um, so I just kind of did an in-between value. Um, I believe the stock value for this was like 4, and it was just right up on the on the vehicle you couldn't really see very much further than that um, and another upside to doing this uh, anybody who is out there playing with mods uh, that they like to play multiplayer uh, you can actually do this to your vehicles um, and you could you could say add <clears throat> like a low beam do the exact same thing and just reorient the flares okay I mean, you'd have to adjust the offsets on these, but you could you could say add these to the headlights and make low beams that would be visible in multiplayer because these flares, you know, you can see the orange flares on the trucks, you know, uh, you could you could add these flares and lights to a, a truck, and I'm pretty sure that it would be multiplayer enabled because it's it's just a basic uh, data mod. It's 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 a script mod. It's not it's nothing major. Uh, there's no there's no drawing anything that that one other person doesn't have because it's all on the computer already. If you have spin tires, the data is there. You just have to create it, and and the host computer would then, you know, I assume would just post that out. So you'd be able to people would be able to see at the very least they'd be able to see your headlights. Um, so or you would be able to see all the ones that you've modded. I don't know how that would work actually. I think I'm confusing myself. Nonetheless, I do believe that this would be multiplayer enabled. I don't think it would mess with anything. So, uh, that is, in a nutshell, how you would do that. And, uh, now, if you wanted to add, like, say you wanted to connect that and make it only come on, because uh, right now, give it a minute here. As of right now, it's on just with the ignition. You know, and then you have the headlights as well. I could connect that so that the headlights and that would come on at the same time. And you would just do that by, instead of having this, darn fraps, instead of having this in the ignition uh, section, you would just place it somewhere in the headlight section. You can do it for reverse signals. See, they're, they're very cleverly just uh, labeled. So you can just kind of go in there and just add and do whatever you want so anyway I hope this uh, video helps some people out um, and I know I don't have a lot of views but uh, you know I, I do feel that I have information that that I had a hard time finding and some other people might find useful so 
I do hope that uh, this has been some help to some of you. Um, and again, um, no comments, but if you guys like my videos, you know, like, subscribe, leave me some comments, positive, negative. I'm, uh, I'm not real sensitive. I won't cry if uh, you think my video sucked. So, uh, anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Be coming back with some more videos. Tip.